Broadcasting live worldwide. This morning, I had something occur to me that I thought was pretty deep, pretty moving, and um, I want to share it with you. It's important. I drove this morning to work with no radio, no sound. I had a lot on my mind. I had a lot, th- a lot of things that I wanted to um, say out loud to myself and to God. And what I didn't realize was halfway into my trip, I felt this peace come over me, this feeling of joy and praise and understanding and forgiveness. It was at that moment I realized God was in the passenger seat next to me. This episode is called A Car Ride with God. Have Faith, Let It Begin starts right now. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, I am Mia, and you are listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Can you say half faith, let it begin? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Half Faith, Let It Begin. Today is February 15th, Monday, 2021. I hope everybody had a beautiful Valentine's Day weekend and a Valentine's Day Sunday. And I'm hoping that all of you uh, received uh, your Valentines uh, for the day. And every day for that matter. This morning, as I drove into work, I had so much on my mind. Uh, I'm not stressed or anything. Um, I'm just, just had a lot of to do things. Um, um, and of course... I wake up in the morning and start my new routine because of my new program that I'm on and uh, the new life change as far as my weight loss, which by the way, I'm very happy to announce to all of you that I've lost a total of 12 pounds um, and I'm on my way and I thank you all for your support and your kind words um, through text messaging and live chats. I appreciate that. Um, it does help and um, I promise you I will keep you up to date and I will post when I get to 20 pounds. And I'm very happy, don't get me wrong. But I wanted to talk to you about what happened to me on the way to work. Sometimes, as you know from my past uh, episodes, I feel that we have to take a break from everything. We have to try and just kind of clear our, our minds for a moment. Some of us already do that with prayer. I mean, I do it. But sometimes we just need complete, utter silence. And what I mean by that is, as I was driving, I decided not to put on music. I decided not to record an episode, as I normally do. I just drove in silence to work. And at one point, I just allowed myself to say whatever was on my mind. And I shared with God that I have sinned in my past, that I've made mistakes in my past, and then I hope that he forgives me. I know he will, but it's one of those things where you just want to feel forgived. And I don't regret some of the things that I've done in my past, 
Um, now, I mean, I should let me rephrase that. I don't regret all the things I've did in my past. There's always something that we all will find that we wish we could have done better, right? But I just started thinking about all those that maybe I have said something wrong to in my early 20s, all the friends that I've lost, whether or not it was a miscommunication on their part and mine, whether or not it was because of somebody making a horrible decision, I just wish we could all find ourselves um, in better spirits, in better minds. And for that one moment, I felt as if I needed to forgive myself. And I asked God for forgiveness. I asked him to, to help me do whatever it takes to fulfill the void that's in my heart where deep down inside I feel that I truly need to be forgiven. And some of the people that I've hurt along the ways, I've already called. I've already made amends. Um, and, and we're talking about what what appeared then to be big things, little things now, you know, uh, forgetting to call somebody and having an argument and telling somebody that, you know, they were obnoxious or, you know, or having to tell somebody that, you know, they weren't... Um, good enough to be your friend because of all the way their lifestyles were, whether that was because they were maybe doing pot or just, I mean, I'm talking about every little thing you could think. I'm just giving you examples. And as I was driving, um, I had this feeling of joy come over me, this feeling of release. And I could feel the presence of God. Now, some of you may say, how do you feel the presence of God? I'm going to explain it. When you're feeling what I was feeling, which is, you know, a little bit sad, a little bit upset, a little bit of worrisome and regret, and you ask for forgiveness, and you're sitting there, and you're driving, and then all of a sudden your mind kind of goes clear, whereas all the things that were weighing on your heart a little bit or weighing on your mind just starts to disappear and then you get this warm sensation in your heart kind of like the day that you first met somebody that you cared or loved or realized that you missed them or the feeling that you get when you see somebody for the first time in a long time and you hug them or even the feeling of a hug a good warm hug that's what I felt it's what I needed. That to me is the presence of God. That's forgiveness. Some will argue me with me and say, well, that's just you letting things go and moving on. Okay. But it still felt good. And I'd like to believe that this morning, my co-pilot was God. So this morning, I'm asking each and every one of you, Try and tomorrow. You don't even have to listen to our show tomorrow. Tomorrow, drive in silence. Tomorrow, we're going to do something very different. If you don't know how to do it, then this is what we're going to do for Half Faith Let It Begin on Tuesday. It's never been done before. And I challenge any podcaster to try it that is trying to do their best to show people out there how you can be in the presence of God. Tomorrow, for six minutes, we will go silent. The show will air. But tomorrow, we will be in silence. And it will give you an opportunity to do what I did. I encourage it. I'm curious what you will write to me and let me know. But if you've never ever felt the presence of the Lord, if you've ever wanted to be so close to him, here's a way to do it. So tomorrow, on Tuesday, February 16th, we will ride in silence together. There will be an introduction 
and then we will go into fi- to, to an actual silence mode. And then I will close out with a prayer. And I'm going to do that this morning. Heavenly Father, thank you for everything you've given me this morning. Thank you for the love and the joy and the compassion and the forgiveness that I'm asking for. Lord, I know that this morning you were a co-pilot and I'm asking you to join each and every person tomorrow as we ask you to be our co-pilot as we drive in silence tomorrow. As we lift up our hearts and we pray unto you. We ask this of you in your precious name. Because today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I hope all of you enjoyed today's episode. And I hope all of you will join me for the silence in the car. As we invite God to be our co-pilot. Have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Thank you.